Well, hi, everybody. Good morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski here on this Friday morning. Good Friday to you, this uh, Groundhog Day where Punxsutawney Phil did not see his shadow this morning. So that means technically, I guess, winter is over, although... I think winter was over a few days ago, This earlier this week when we started to see the nice weather return. Uh, and we still keep it around this morning, although it's kind of foggy for some. We do have a dense fog advisory out about Highway 281 and westward until noon today. Very thick fog, many places, one quarter of a mile or less. Hastings and Grand Island have been spared, but it is not far away so far as of the time of this recording. Northeast Nebraska, it goes till 10 o'clock this morning. The fog hasn't been quite as dense or widespread in these spots here. But, so it may not be as big of an issue there, but really thick fog right in here. Best chance of some sun today is going to be over southeastern areas. Although I think even Grand Island Hastings could sneak in some sun this morning here, but a lot of low cloud cover and fog right in here into the northeast. We'll see the clouds gradually thicken up as the day goes on. It's still going to be a mild day despite more clouds later on. Maybe some afternoon drizzle. You kind of saw a little bit of that green show up on the map there. Maybe a little afternoon drizzle. Chances of rain, though, will then pick up overnight tonight. Not a lot initially this evening, but as we get closer to midnight, that chance really starts to get going there. And notice the reds and the oranges. There may be some convection, lightning, and thunder. Non-severe thunderstorms are a possibility. And that will enhance the rainfall rate for those areas that get that lightning and thunder. This will continue to become more widespread after midnight into tomorrow morning. But notice northeastern areas, not as much in here. These areas uh, from Lincoln to O'Neill Northeast, we won't see nearly as much rain out of the system, but we are going to see a soaking here. Look at the wet weather for Saturday. Most of the day, very wet weather, maybe drying out a little bit in the southwest. A little bit of rain off to the northeast here, but the heaviest rain band right in here, just sitting right near the Tri-Cities. It will continue Saturday night out west. Snow in the panhandle tries to sneak a little eastward there, but I don't think most of us will have to deal with snow. This is going to be a rain event. It does lighten up, though, Saturday night into Sunday morning. It will continue to do so during the day Sunday. And by the end of the day Sunday, most of us are done with the rain, and we'll go back to drier weather for a few days but we could get quite a bit of rain during this time frame here. Look at the amounts we could be put, 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 could potentially be looking at. Now, again, uh, areas off to the northeast, we're talking maybe a half inch or less, quarter of an inch or less in some spots, but many of us are going to be seeing a widespread half inch to one inch of rainfall, and it's looking more and more likely like a, a good chunk of south central Nebraska, north central Kansas is going to see an inch, inch and a half, maybe upwards of two inches of rain, maybe a little more in spots here heavy rainfall now the good news is it's falling over a longer period of time and not falling all in like a six hour period or something like that that helps a little bit but again we've had all the recent snow melt the ground's still partially frozen haven't had a lot of ice jamming yet but some of this rain can sometimes contribute to ice jamming jamming as the ice breaks up here plus it's going to rapidly melt the rest of the big snow piles that are out there here so I think there is going to be probably some localized flooding in some spots. Will it be just a minor deal? Could it be a bigger issue? We'll see. It's kind of tough to project this uh, with this here. There's a couple of things helping us out in the fact that the top layer of the soil is thawed out a bit. But I'll tell you right now, driving along some of the fields yesterday, they're pretty waterlogged right now. The ditches are as well. So start to fill that up with some of the runoff of rainfall here this weekend. And I'm a little concerned we may see some areas of flooding, especially along some of our local rivers like the Platte River and the Loop River, maybe the Republican River down in um, northern Kansas and southern Nebraska. So it's all a possibility here. So if you live near one of these streams of these rivers and you live in a low-lying area, that might be something to keep an eye on as we go through the weekend as there is the potential for that water to maybe rise a little bit in some of those locations well highs today despite clouds increasing we're still going to get up into the 50s today even near 60 in the southeast 40s off to the north still a little bit cooler there tonight's temperatures dropping back only into the 40s for most of us many of us will not drop below 40 it's gonna be a very mild night tonight we could be talking about some record warm minimum temperatures tomorrow's high is a little cooler than today but still into the mid and upper 40s and lower 50s Still very mild for this time of the year, despite clouds and showers. Tomorrow night, a little cooler, 30s and lower 40s, not bad though. And then mostly in the 40s for your day on Sunday uh, as the rain begins to wrap up. After Sunday, the temperatures will start to come back up down the road here. So again, a wet weekend ahead of us here. And then next week, we will see the temperatures rise once again, 50s. Maybe another Wednesday with highs into the 60s. And then we cool back a little bit Thursday and beyond as rain chances return. 
as we look at the long range forecast we'll see those temperatures cool back down but only upper 40s to near 50 that's still above average as we move towards the middle part of february well i want to thank you all for watching on this friday morning i hope it's a good weekend for you again stay dry out there and again watch those low-lying areas i will be back with you on monday with all of the latest take care and god bless bye